Hello, everyone. It's Phil Jones from Projective Reviews, and joining me is Jaime from Elite Screens. Elite Screens is one of the leading uh, manufacturers of screens, and they offer a tremendous amount of solutions for any application. But today, we're going to be talking about a pretty unique application, a screen that you can use to enhance productivity, whether it's in a classroom, a conference room, or even a boardroom. So today, we're going to be talking about whiteboard screen solutions. So Jaime, how are you? I'm great, Phil. How about yourself? Thank you very much. Yeah, so thank you for coming. Can you talk a little bit about why you guys develop whiteboard screen solutions? Yes, so thank you. Well, for Elite Pro EV, the commercial line of, of Elite Screens, <clears throat> we took a survey from customers and asked them, what would you like to see next in the in the brand, in the, in the lineup of products? Because we were noticing that a lot of schools were still using conventional whiteboards and that just wasn't cutting it when it comes to projection image quality. Mm -hmm. So we said, hey, um, we gave the test to our engineer and we challenged them with uh, asking them to provide us with a, a whiteboard screen solution. And they came back with uh, two product lines here, uh, two materials, one mm -hmm. one of the Versa white and then one with, this, with the ambient light rejecting material. And that's true because you need the whiteboard for interactive things with the kids. Even in my conference rooms at my other office, you know, you, you map out a lot of stuff on that whiteboard. So that is, a, that is a tool that you have to have. But at the same time, you still need to project presentations, Excel spreadsheets, and everything else. And having a whiteboard screen and having a, a projection screen in a room is two different walls. It's a lot of real estate to take up. So you're not going to say, let's look over here at the whiteboard. Let's look over here at the presentation. Let's look over here at the whiteboard. So being able to combine them together and is, is a good thing. And it has to be able to deliver a great picture, um, even in a room with um, ambient light. So that's why it's great that Elite Screens has got into this. So you said that this is part of your pro division, correct? That is correct, Phil. Yes. Uh, it's a five-year warranty on all the products from Elite Pro EV. This division is dedicated towards Pro, and of course, if you're a consumer, they have their other solutions for you as well. So, there's different types of material. Like, like always, how many different materials does Elite have in, in general? A dozen at least, but, um, but this is a dedicated material for whiteboards. So let's talk about those materials. So, what do you want to, which one do you want to talk about first? Yeah, well, let's go to the Versa white material first. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. like the matte white version, or what it is a matte mm -hmm. white version, except that you can actually write on it. And it gives mm -hmm. you more flexibility as far as projectors go, because you can mount it uh, with a short throw, either tabletop or ceiling mounted prefer, I know, uh, especially in the education sector where you want to keep kids away from that. And it provides mm -hmm. wide diffusion uniformity. And it's mm -hmm. also Green Guard Gold certified. And of course, it has no glare on the projection surface. So you turn on the lights and you're not going to get that bounce back uh, annoying glare that is <laughs> makes it difficult to see your presentations. Mm -hmm. So the benefit of the Versa White is a couple of things like you mentioned. If you're starting with a traditional desktop projector and you're thinking about putting one on the ceiling or, or a short throw, you know that if you get the Versa White, it's going to work pretty much with any projector that you that you're going to throw at it. That's one of the one of the main benefits of it. How does this compare to like a regular whiteboard? I mean, what do you, you know, it, it looks white. How is this different than a whiteboard? How do you make it better than the materials that are utilized on a whiteboard? Well, we uh, coat it with a nanotech resin, which prevents from scratching. So it's anti-scratch resistant. And again, it's a matte white finish, which allows um, the projection quality mm -hmm to remain theater grade and also is not a sheen whereas mm -hmm. conventional uh, whiteboards have, which have mm -hmm. that glare effect. Uh, so that's yeah. three main things. And of course, it's a, it's, it's a whiteboard screen surface mm -hmm. as well. So you can use standard dry erase uh, pens and markers. Because a lot of times the whiteboards are shiny because it makes it easier to erase. Exactly. But that shininess is a, so it's kind of a, it's a, it's a little bit of magic to make it matte and make it erasable, which is actually really, really cool. And the other thing too is the frame, the um, how it's built. So you now have this newer thin edge frame. Can you talk about that? Yes. So again, 
to improve the uh, product in general uh, and to provide more real estate, we had our engineers go back and say, hey, now we need a bezel uh, that is a, a little bit more thinner, but remain sturdy and rigid for um, the classroom presenter to still write on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we just uh, told them to make the bezel slim, uh, make the bezel slimmer so that we can gain more real estate mm -hmm. in a smaller footprint. Okay, now I do wanna point something out that he, that he mentioned. Um, be, these are rigid screens because you're gonna be writing on them. A lot of times they, um, elite screens ships like their traditional, a lot of their traditional consumer base ones, they come in tiny boxes. I was shocked at how small they were. I'm used to these gigantic monkey coffins of boxes that I would get that are, but this box showed up for the 100 inch screen that they loaned me, the Aeon, and it was surprisingly small, which makes it easy to maneuver in and out of a room. That's because you roll the material out and then you build the frame and you stick it on there. This needs to be rigid because people are writing on it, which means the 100 inch screen comes in a 100 inch box. So keep that in mind. Um, it does actually help with the installation because now you just need to mount, take it out of the box, put the mounting brackets we'll talk about in a minute and then hang the screen. So it does speed up installation and it comes rigid, but you need to keep in mind that it is, it does come in a box about the equivalent size of the screen that you're actually getting. Yeah, um, thank you for bringing that up. And we have made strides in reducing the weight and the back, the backing of that to make it more manageable. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of these are steel, and mm -hmm. we've actually moved away from that backing and made it uh, more uh, lightweight. So mm -hmm. it's easier to hang and easier to maneuver. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's big, but it's not overly heavy, which is uh, which is another thing. Is that like a secondary piece that comes so you can put all your accessories on it, correct? That is correct. So we include also a heavy duty uh, tray where you can store your high density foam eraser and your pens and your cleaning solution, which it includes as well. Okay, so it includes some of the stuff like the eraser. I was gonna ask you about that, or which we'll talk about in Jitten next time. Now, for someone who has a room with some ambient light in it, which is pretty much most classrooms uh, and a lot of conference rooms, because people wanna be able to write, see what they're writing and see what's on screen, you have a solution for that as well, right? Yes, we do. We have our CLR2 material, which is mm -hmm. an ambient light rejecting material uh, for tabletop mounted only due to the structure of the absorbent layer. But it mm -hmm. is still dry erase and it uh, absorbs up to 85% of overhead lighting. And it's also mm -hmm. scratch resistant uh, with a laminate coating. So you're not mm -hmm. gonna scratch, you're not gonna damage it. And it, it does uh, maintain and helps produce exceptional image brightness uh, with color mm -hmm. saturation, which is key when you want to present something, uh, the contrast is there, you know, and you'll be able to make out uh, great pictures. And um, it's also ISF certified. So if you turn off the lights, you'll get that accurate color reproduction. And if anybody's ever hung out with the guys at ISF, Joel <laughs> and those guys, they're pretty anal about the uh, picture quality and making sure that they're, that your screen does no harm. So just so you know that not only is it going to work great in a room with ambient light, you're also going to get a very accurate looking picture. So if you're doing something like, say you are in a conference room and you're looking at prints of a new, a draft of a new commercial, or you're trying to change the corporate color from a royal red to a different color red, being able to actually see it accurately <laughs> kind of matters. So so the fact that it's it's a very accurate looking screen is an important thing. Now, there's a couple of points that you brought up about this screen. Mm -hmm. that that we should discover the first thing because of how it's built it works with a ultra short throw and short throw tabletop model because if i try to put it on the ceiling it's going to reject light from the ceiling including the projector okay if they go well why don't i just rotate the screen and then i can put the projector on the top now it is a floor light rejecting screen and you <laughs> just gave up all of your benefits all right phil yes the minute you turn it around uh you flip it over i mean yes you allow now ambient light and the projector light and they're in competition there and so mm -hmm. you'll you won't get that nice crisp bright image that you you know that you're mm -hmm. trying to get 
Jaime, why can't I use a traditional projector in the back of the room? Good question, Phil. Well, the uh, structure, the microstructure of the CLR2, mm -hmm. the filter or the layer is opened enough only to accept, as you had mentioned previously, that steep light from below. And mm -hmm. the further you get back, mm -hmm. the more that particular long distance throw uh, projector mm -hmm. light will get absorbed mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. reflected back to the sweet spot of the eyes of the audience. Hey. Exactly. So think of it this way. Best, <laughs> and as you go like this, it's going to start getting dark. The screen's going to start getting darker and darker and darker and darker and darker and darker until you don't see anything. So exactly. the right projection screen for the right application. Now, a little later, I'm going to have Jaime, and we're going to talk a little bit about, okay, I have this screen, and I have this projector, and I have this room. Which screen should I buy? And that's the reason why they have, like, 25 different materials is so you can find the right one. But this one, like we said, ultra short throw um, and short throw projection projectors, which like I said, are now becoming the one of the most popular, popular solutions. Like for example, LG makes a really good um, um, ultra short throw, but they don't ship it with a, with a, um, with a screen and they actually have a business version of it. Um, so they have the consumer version and they have the business version. Well, that business version would go perfectly with this screen in, in a conference room because um, ultra short throw, business version, business screen, and, and you can and they can kill two birds with one stone. So that's actually that's actually a great thing. All right. So we had talked about this and we want to stress it again. The reason why you need to have it needs to come from behind below is the way that the material is designed. Um, and it's only designed to direct light uh, or towards your eyes from one um, angle or a, a very steep angle. And this actually shows you kind of that throw ratio. So I'm glad you actually included that. So that's kind of the recommended throw ratio down there. Point, yes, um, point two three to, to one point two. And I'll, I'll let you know that Pretty much all, definitely all ultra short throws fit in this window. If you are using a um, a uh, a projector with a third party lens or th like ex exchange like replaceable lenses, those those distances are actually provided, and you may see sometimes they have an ultra short throw and a short throw lens, and just choose the one that works best for you, um, and just make sure that you're within that range. Yes, actually, I wanted to uh, inform everybody that nobody else has a, um, a material like this that's able to accept short throw light as well, at least not to my knowledge. And as you can see, it's the reason why is because we've actually modified that structure where it can accept um, short throw projector light, and, and you'll be you'll be able to see it in that the sawtooth structure where it bends in right there so that mm -hmm. some of the short throw light is projected properly. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And also it gives you a lot more flexibility if you start off with a, a, a short throw now and get an ultra short throw later, you are good to go. And I can't think of another company that's making an ultra short throw whiteboard um, screen either. But a lot of them have like a really hard, almost like a lenticular. I'm not sure if you were a kid and you remember those little, you used to get those postcards and you would do this and you would, and 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 it would you could make yeah. the object move, but then when you move your finger around, it goes zick 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 zick, and that's yes. what they look like. So that normally that's what most ultra short throw um, 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 rigid materials look like, which would not make it a very good um, <laughs> whiteboard. So this is a really unique piece of material. Like I said, you actually have some examples here of of application. Say you're having a conference room and you want to retrofit it with a projection system. This is a a far easier solution to do than trying to add a ceiling mounted projector to a um, an existing room. And and I love the fact that you guys always use real world pictures instead of the Photoshop stuff that everybody else does. <laughs> yeah, we like to tell the story. <laughs> we like to we like for you guys to see it for yourselves, and we're not uh, hiding anything, and that we're not trying to uh, mock up anything. So yes, as you can exactly. see there, that bank light right there is hitting it down and it's doing mm -hmm. its job 
allowing mm -hmm. you to get a nice bright image and even the white mm -hmm. angle, the white viewing angle uh, at a white mm -hmm. viewing angle. So you still be yeah. able to make it out clearly. Yeah, and that's and that's an important point too, because in a classroom or a boardroom, um, you people will be sitting off axis. So let's talk about the dry erase part of this. So you can use any dry erase pens that you want, or do you need require any specialized pens and things like that? No, any off market uh, dry erase pens and markers uh, will work. Um, the only thing that we do uh, require is for a high density foam type eraser, mm -hmm. not that scraggly looking one that has like mm -hmm. bristles. Um, yeah, yes. That one won't work. It has to be the specific high density foam eraser mm -hmm. to be able to uh, uh, erase properly. Exactly. And this, I love these images, Jaime, because it's, it really shows how the collaboration between the projected image and the written image is actually really cool. And I can actually see doing this, using this for product planning and things like that, where they go, don't like her jacket, like, you know, you know <laughs> change this text and everything else. And then you can just take a, literally take a photograph of the screen and you got it, which is, which is actually pretty, pretty, pretty cool. You know, you can use any dry erase um, type marker, but also the thing that you brought up was the fact that you want to use a, um, a certain type of eraser and also you also need to clean it and to kind of get you guys started. Um, you guys actually include some of this stuff in the box, right? Exactly. Yes, we do. We do include a pair of pens and a high density foam eraser. You can see the one with the logo is the one that, um, we include in addition to a, an extra one so that way you can kind of get an idea of what the material is like. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's a foam, high density foam, mm -hmm. which absorbs that, um, per, I mean, the, the dry erase markings, whereas mm -hmm. the other type, uh, it just, it just doesn't work as well. So that's why yeah. we need that, that foam version there. It's almost like the other one that scratches the, all the dry, the dry erase pen off of it instead of absorbing it. Um, and then the cleaning solution. Now, um, you guys include a little bit of this cleaning solution. Um, is it available if I need more from you or where would I get additional cleaning solution if I need it? Yeah, we have a uh, shop uh, site where you can purchase accessories or contact your dealer preferably so that you, they can reorder you uh, the, this kit. You, we sell it as a package or we sell them as individual uh, pieces. Mm -hmm. And that whiteboard clean solution is in case, you know, you, uh, the teacher, the presenter, whoever happens to forget, you know, they are on mm -hmm. a vacation or summer or whatever, they come back, oh, mm -hmm. there's, there's still markings on there. It, it'll mm -hmm. require a, a good thorough cleaning to remove mm -hmm. any, uh, you know, residue markings, ghosting okay. from the pens. So let's talk about the last thing, uh, mounting it. So, so is it hard to install? We talked about, I don't think it's going to be. Could you talk about that? Yes, absolutely. So it comes with a pair of uh, wall mounting brackets. Just locate your studs and um, mount them and uh, hang, hang your whiteboard right on to the backing of it. And the brackets also permit you to slide it to the right or to the left so that you can make sure that you have a centered and perfect installation. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so, um, so, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. The install, um, you you do want two people. <laughs> this is a big rigid whiteboard. You trying yes. to pick it up? Is it gonna work? <laughs> so, you do definitely want to have two people help you lift it. Um, it even comes with the mounts for the uh, pin tray um, in the box as well. So, once you mount the screen, you can also mount the pin tray as well. It's a very simple, um, straightforward installation process. And uh, lastly, pricing. So can you go through the pricing with us, Jaime? Yes, starting at uh, the WB60VW1, which is a four by three model, a 60 inch, and that would be the, in the Versa white uh, mm -hmm. material. We're starting at 679, and of course that can go up, uh, up to 2069 for the WB97, which is a 97 inch 16 by nine aspect ratio mm -hmm. whiteboard screen with the ambient light rejecting CLR2 material. Okay, so, so you so, have a pretty good um, uh, options there as far as sizes mm -hmm. go and pricing based on your mm -hmm. uh, your needs. Yes. Now, um, Jaime's yelling is going to yell at me because I want to do a review on a WB90 CLR2. I have it on my radar after 
I finished the projections, <laughs> the spring projection review, but I am going to, I promise you, Jaime, um, <laughs> I want to do it. I'm going to do it. So please don't yell at me. I will get it done and I will make sure that I share it with all of the viewers. And um, so you can see how cool it is um, and how great of a picture it provides. All right. So Jaime, I'd like to thank you for coming and going over Elite Pro AV's lineup of whiteboard screens. Thank you, Phil, for your time. And uh, it's always happy to do it. So if you're looking for a great screen solution, um, whether it's for your home or whether it's for a business or education application, check out the companies um, of Elite Screens. So take care and we will talk to you soon. Elite Pro AV. Get the big picture.